The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. We have a full studio today. Yay. We're going to be talking about some awesome stuff coming up here locally in Las Vegas. All kinds of titties. But first, <laughs> we uh, want to welcome our new Patreon subscriber, William, who provided us with a bunch of information about himself because he paid for the $10 tier level, which in which he will get roasted or semi-broiled or... Burnt. Burnt to a and if, crisp. Yeah, if I'm cooking, burnt. Like, <laughs> inedible. That's so basically what you're going to So, the first have. thing I have to say is I know William personally, and I just want to, first of all, William, I want to say thank you so much for your service. Uh, William is a former Navy uh, sailor, uh. and uh, just so you know, we honor all seamen around here. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> some more than others. So I was just going to say some more than others. <laughs> I tried to join the Navy, but they found out my parents were married. Oh, <laughs> uh, which branch were Speaking you? of parents being married, um, William also uh, hails from one of those M states, you know, one of those ones where you can Meaning marry your their sister. Parents are married. <laughs> Got <laughs> to fly I mean, over to which siblings. is your brother or sister yeah, is yeah. probably married. That's kind of how it goes. It's one of those M flavored uh, Missouri, Mississippi, even Massachusetts. <laughs> That's where Boston is, right? Yeah, they all marry yes. their sisters there. So. <laughs> but there are the do it like with an accent and then they yell at them and <laughs> oh my goodness um he is uh he <laughs> he lists his sexual orientation as a starrett pervert i don't know what that means <laughs> uh starrett is probably some other word he is a horrible horrible speller yes terrible speller well it just means that he uh, stares a lot right just so you well, know creepy it's term it's another word for creepy <laughs> <laughs> fun new things on these phones. There's a little microphone down here. So when you click on the thing, you see the little microphone there? If you click on there, you can talk into it and it will spell everything correctly for you. Exclamation point. His hobbies are porn, video games, sci-fi, sometimes all three at once. I, I want to tell a story about the one of the very first times uh, William Phillips and I talked about porn. He said, there. I, I, we were talking about how I like porn cartoons. I love porn cartoons, the funny ones, right? Like uh, Mickey Mouse style or whatever, and all those old ones with Bluto and olive oil, all that stuff. He gives me a videotape. Wait, hold on, back up. I might have just missed that. They made those into porn? Yes. Like, yes. Oh. I didn't know. Like Scooby Doo, uh, Flintstones, everything. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much a what? Porn. If, it, yeah. if it has ever been animated, it is now <laughs> Like, porn. does someone fucking Rosie and the Jetsons yes. Yes. remix? I'm sure yes. there probably is. It is adorable. It's funny. How, how adorable is that? I don't it's know. It's pretty funny. When we're done with this, I'll tell you about the first time I saw Swedish animated porn, which is hilarious. <laughs> and, but so William gives me this videotape, old fashioned. This is back in like '97 or something like that. A videotape. VHS. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> of this porn, and it's Japanese anime porn, but it's. It's little schoolgirls, I swear to God, like 12-year-old schoolgirls that have tails and ears having sex er, with men that don't have tails and ears. This is called hentai, and it's popular, and I love it. I hate hentai, just, I, just you, so you know. You want, it's I little it. girls? No, it's not little girls. It's not little girls, but they're drawn like little girls. They're young but they're looking, but they're animal. all... How yeah, do you how do you differentiate? Like does the because they have, start out with they have tails all characters are and ears. <laughs> they have tails. They're not girls. But I'm they're guessing like if they have like a little gang oh. bang, they're just gonna call them the Terminator because they look like rats, right? I've seen oh. that before too. <laughs> you did, okay. <laughs> the Terminator was turned into a very good pornography. <laughs> starring Ron Jeremy. 
I've got oh a like, I've got a venture past Pornhub. Like seriously, I don't know what this shit is, but I gotta venture out my selection here. This is the stuff you used to get. Like we, you back in the old days when you would rent a VHS or you'd buy one, and then friends would like pass it around and be like, "You gotta watch this one." Well, I guess it's just me and my you, perverted friends. You wouldn't even have to do that. You go to Blockbuster into that little secret cave that they had there for all the porn that was in there. I lived with three dudes at one time and one of them was a bisexual dude who was on a gay streak but occasionally he'd bring home a girl and that's where we watched some of the most adventurous porn I have ever seen in my fucking life because he moved in and he was like Ka-chunk. what's that my porn fucking wonderful <laughs> um, and then uh, you also know some private proclivities about William don't you yes I know that he likes to dress up as a Klingon and, and that... you know what he looks good as a Klingon I have to say that's because well, I don't know if that's going too far. That's because I heard a rumor one time he fell down every flight of stairs on an aircraft carrier. <laughs> and that's why he looks good dressed up as a Klingon. But when he, when uh, I've seen him dressed up, and I think he has a photo, maybe he'll share it onto our page or something. Yeah. But he looks really, really good. I don't He's know tiny, he, though. He's a little tiny, tiny dude. When I first met him, he convinced me to do my very first cosplay as a Klingon. And he dressed me. Like, he outfitted me, kitted me up, and I went to something dressed like that, and I don't know if there are any <laughs> Wait, photos Was of it that. not a costume party? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't know if there up, it was like Thanksgiving dinner at his house. <laughs> <laughs> and I had everything, and I used to wear it, and then my ex, you know, husband. I've seen you dressed up as a Klingon. You were pretty hot. It's because I got the boobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have boob envy. Me too. <laughs> I really do. Hers are the best. She yeah, will massage you with we them. We need help, but no. you know. Like, yeah. I only look like I have some because of the bra. Like, the bra's enhancing my negative cup and makes them look like they're <laughs> external she's versus going internal. Concave. Like, yeah. She's like, like what's your bra size? She's like 42 negative E. <laughs> <laughs> how negative do we go? How, how small? Just. 13-year-old pudgy boy, that's it. What would you put on a 13-year-old pudgy boy? Bring it out. Bring it out. William Phillips right says it was not a destroyer. It was, an, it, was, it, was, it was a destroyer, not an aircraft carrier. So it was okay. like a couple hundred thousand feet shorter. <laughs> so the only thing that I know about William is that his name sounds like a cigarette that my uh, grandpa used to smoke. So thank you for... <laughs> what cigarettes were those? Uh, like... Was Phillips? it Winston or Phillips something? Or Winston? Yeah, something, something old. I don't know. <laughs> something My grandfather old. smoked on the balls. <laughs> so. well, we do want to thank you very much, William, uh, William for being a patron of ours. And uh, hopefully we'll give you plenty of stuff in the Super Secret Facebook group that you can't get anywhere else about us. If you want to join, uh, go over to patreon.com and just search Sin City Bounty and you'll be able to become a member of our super secret Facebook group for only five dollars a month William got the whole roasting for ten so we thank you very much and you know you only have to pay that once and then you can go back down to five dollars a month <laughs> no or you keep it there what the hell are you doing <laughs> trying to keep you are no bank? salesperson no what I am hell? not Alex okay. says Philip Morris cigarettes that was mm. yeah that sounds I thought that was right. the, name the, the name of the company that's the name of the company it yeah. is that, yeah. that was the name of the brand of cigarettes before they became a company oh I got it oh uh, like way back uh, before I was born yeah totally and, a plethora yeah. of information I am a fount of useless she fucking has information anything you want to know she'll so tell you seriously Kevin, Kevin Shaw wants to know what is this show about Everything. That's, that's my buddy. I call him Big Sexy back in Stockton. This show is about butt sex. Get ready for the guy. We are strapping on, just, baby. The thing is, I know we didn't girl. tell him. We told him, like, they're going to talk about something else just to get him in here. And then we're like, guess what? Butt sex episode. <laughs> it's time for pegging with Sin City Mountain. And wait, guys. Not only uh, are we talking about it, but I have photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chris says, hey, Julie. Hi, Chris. He's one of my stalkers. <laughs> and okay. Jonah says, hi, Abby and Julie. Julie. Julie? Julie. 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 You know, Jay. So if Whatever. you click on Sin City Bounty, uh, you can be. pull up uh, the video live, and the chat is underneath, so you guys can keep track if you want. We're of what's going it. on We're underneath on and see all the people so for, for those of you new to the show we will literally talk about whatever the fuck we want uh, yes we have no holds barred facebook hasn't kicked us off for saying cunt yet so we're just gonna keep going with that <laughs> and if you have a particular topic you want to chat about just 
Put it in here. Put it in the chat, yeah, baby. We, we can't guarantee we'll get to it. Of course. But we'll try. Yes. Sometimes. And if you do have the butt sex photos that I was referring to, <laughs> just kidding. Seriously, Don. <laughs> do you know who has all the incriminating evidence photos? She's got a whole external hard drive where she just keeps photos. She says she deletes them. Ones that I take doesn't. in secret, like this. Oh, oh, yeah, ones that you don't me. take in secret when you're like moving. I got arrested for doing that once. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I said I got arrested for doing that once. <laughs> Actually, you're very honest about it. Like, if we're all together in a room and you're like, hey, you're looking really good with your skirt. Can you lift it up a little? And you're like, like whoop, flash us some puss. <laughs> no problem, baby. It's the great thing about taking those photos on your phone is you can just right download them right to your hard drive. And no one ever has to here's, see them Here's ever what's again. great about my phone. I have time hop on there. So occasionally, like, for example, today, I pull up my time hop. And usually my time hop is like soccer and cats and just random Bathroom shit selfies and, and occasionally it's stuff that really shouldn't come up on time hop with a cute <laughs> little dinosaur and i'm like oh no we don't want that nope we're not sharing that to facebook so why would it literally just happened be today inappropriate? because of the photo with it what did you have it stuffed in your butt i mean i literally <laughs> show no it comes with time hop if you've ever seen the app, no. there's a tie. Okay, so it pulls up um, everything that you've posted in the past on this day. Why would Whether I it's want on your that? social media Facebook or does that. Too. I saved on memories. Yeah. memories. Yeah. But it does it like saved on your phone and so. Uh, yeah. I want to see it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've seen. That's personal. I guess. So, <laughs> so that's what came up today. I was like, whoa. Like, so that's what a Brazilian is. Uh, whoa. <laughs> moving on, moving on. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to do some news first before we get into the ladies here? Sure. So we're going to go right into the political shit. Um, if you have a primary happening in your state at any point in the next few days, please go fucking vote. I don't care which way you vote. Actually, I do care, but vote. Just fucking vote. Because all of you sitting around, uh, the reason... The president is currently the president is who the president is is because Democrats did not go out and vote like they did for uh, Barack Obama. So literally she's talking to you fucking Democrats. You fucking Democrats <laughs> get the fuck out and fucking vote. Libertarians just keep the peace. Man. Keep the peace. I just saw a post the other day. Alexia reposted it. Lyft is offering ride to vote. Free rides to free vote. Rides ah. to your free rides or, dis station. or discounted rides to go vote. Yeah. Because that was the number one reason people w didn't go is because they had no ride to get there. Hmm. But if uh, your state is as awesome as Nevada, there's usually two weeks of fucking early voting. Yeah. I vote at the fucking mall. <laughs> Or the grocery store. Sometimes you just drive by a 7-Eleven. There's a big-ass bus. Vote here. Just get the fuck out. Go get a Slurpee and fucking vote. You're already out there. Right? You're already stopping for a goddamn donut. Go push a button. <laughs> for fuck's sake. It's like you follow me when they drive. <laughs> she has GPS on my car. Oh, shit. She's like, she knows I'm fucking getting a Slurpee and a donut no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, so the other thing I want to talk about is, uh, so we really do need to reform our gun control laws. That mass shooting, although it's, it wasn't really a mass shooting, uh, a lot of people were injured, but only two people died. And it, um, I don't want to downplay the fact that it wasn't like a terrible thing. It was an awful thing. The gun he used, although he used it illegally, was purchased legally but only after he had been involuntarily instituted for psychological breaks. He was on multiple psychosis medications. A person with that kind of medical background should never be allowed to purchase any form of weapon, period, end of story. I don't think the motherfucker should be allowed to buy butter knives. Like, you get a plastic sport that's you made out of plant spork. materials. No, 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 no. One of those little fancy ones at the fucked up vegan place that's made out of plant materials that'll melt in the hot coffee too yep. much. That's what you get. That is all you get. If you are so fucking crazy that hospitals are like, man, you are too fucking crazy. you got to stay here for a couple of months. You don't get to own a weapon. I am a gun owner. I believe everyone has the right to have a gun except crazy people and violent people. You bitches don't get to have guns. 
Really? Why? Because you're going to use them in situations in which you don't need to fucking use them. Like, let's say you're playing a video game and you lose that video game. And as happens, as every video gamer who plays any sort of massive anything knows, people will start razzing on you, especially when you die in a lunatic idiot way. Wait, first off, wasn't it, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it a Madden? It was. It was was Uh, was Madden. NFL Madden video tournament. NFL football video tournament. It was the last stage before they come to the Vegas semifinals. Guy dies or loses his game. He gets razzed by other gamers, which is what fucking happens. Gamers are razzers. That's what we fucking do. This is why gaming people stay home. And become right. albino and don't interact with the outside world. That's why I don't support their parents esports. Basement, right? <laughs> you know why? Because if all these bitches had been home, all he would have done was beat it off real hard, maybe cut himself a little and gone to fucking bed. But no, instead he was out of his house and out in some public venue with his legally purchased gun that he shouldn't have been able to legally fucking purchase, by the way. And then he shot two people and injured a shift on others. Yeah. I mean, seriously, why did he ever have access to a gun? He should not have. You and now, I, my fellow libertarians, some of you assholes who shall remain fucking nameless, will say, well, that's a slippery slope. If you start All saying. All seven of you. <laughs> if you start saying one man can't have a gun, then you're going to say you can't have a gun or you can't have a gun. I'll be like, have you ever been mentally instituted? Are you a violent criminal? Have you ever been accused of attempting to kill someone before? No? then you don't have a fucking problem. If you do have any of those things, or you are one of those people who's on the uh, watch list of they might be terrorists, no, you don't get to buy a gun. I'm sorry. If the any federal government, any federal government, ours, somebody else's, because there's an international registry of terrorist watch list people. The fucking, all the countries get together and be like, this guy's a little fucking crazy. We have him on a watch list. Other countries are like, thank you very much. If he comes to my country and buys a gun, I'm not going to let him have one. That's just how Yes, you over there in the shirt, the creepy looking <laughs> my guy. My fellow veteran, but more. You don't guy. need to buy a gun anymore because now you can, you can get a fucking don't. 3D Shh. printer. Shh. And print a plastic gun. I don't gun. want people to know that. We're not going to tell you where Stop you can telling get people. this information. Are you kidding? Uh, it's like, been all over the fucking news. You don't need to buy a gun, period. Honestly, right. you, can buy all the parts and, uh, you can buy all the parts separately and assemble your own fucking Before that 3D printer came And us came veterans along, are really good at that. Before yeah. that 3D printer came along, that crazy guy who does the movies, who does a really good crazy guy. Oh, Quentin Tarantino. Not that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one I know, damn it. He's an actor. He's, uh, but he did a movie where he made a gun out of wood and a Steve wooden Buscemi? bullet. And oh. It wasn't Steve Buscemi. It was the other guy that's super crazy. Uh, or that plays a Malkovich. great... That's it. John Malkovich. Well, a wooden gun wouldn't really work. We won't go into the physics of that. But it is entirely possible. You never have to actually buy a gun. You can build a gun. Yeah, I just watched Bones, and uh, there was one episode where she got shot with an ice bullet, a blood ice bullet. TV <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say. Um, Bless like, you. Like, 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 you know it's not real, right? Like, you know they know. get to pretend, right? Uh, <laughs> like, Latanya says, if you have a record, you should not have a gun. No, 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 no. It depends on the record. Now, that poor chump who got arrested for fucking buying, selling, or smoking weed on the corner, he is not likely to go out and shoot somebody. He's going to go out and maybe eat some Doritos. <laughs> He's probably okay. But He's but probably not even going to go out and buy a gun, because again, he's just at home, a little bit high, eating the Doritos. Kev- Kevin but says... There has to be a, a line. What about Coldplay? Like they have a record. You can't yes. just sit and point at Violent and criminals. You, 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 you. Well, what if it's... Like at a, I, I don't know. I don't. Kevin says uh, Madden's been getting people beat up for years. <laughs> I mean, so you guys know That's you're true. not really playing, right? Like, <laughs> some of them, yeah, some of them. I say that to my son every I'm, day. I'm, it's just a game. Oh my gosh. I'm, it's just a game. Yeah, but I'm pretty yeah. sure there was probably lots of money involved in this. Yes. Oh, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. There's there a huge yeah. buy-in. Yeah. Like, there's a huge buy-in to get in. There's lots of money at stake at the end. Mm. There is a lot of money involved. But he didn't shoot them because he lost the game. He targeted the two people he killed because they gave him shit for losing the game. Mm. Asshole, how, when did you start playing fucking video games? Because I'm going to let you know. When I was playing Mario on the original Nintendo in my friend's house and I fell off that fucking cliff, he razzed my ass for fucking days after that. 
Razzing from gamers has happened since the beginning of time, and if your sensitive fairy ass can't fucking handle it, get the fuck out, go home, and play on your goddamn Nintendo 3DS. And it's this. I was I was super surprised that it was a video game convention I'm that not this surprised. happened at, I'm or surprised, tournament. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. That's mm. what I mean. Because you know they they there's been all this talk about how video games are violent and they they help. Uh, Help, uh, but I, it was I know. mad. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But even then, I mean, it's football. All These football dudes are players sitting are around violent, in right? their like dolphins jersey. Like this time, <laughs> no, it's gonna happen. They'll, they're usually wearing whoever is sponsoring them at the event that they're at. They're not mm. wearing football jerseys. They're usually kitted up like a fucking NASCAR driver. Mm. They got a hat and like four logos on a Fine shirt, and a fucking tattoo on their left ankle. They got to keep up while they're playing games. Life goals. Yeah. So, I don't uh, like any of those games, which is why uh, I'm not that kind of we game. Have a, we have a listener in chat. That, her name's Kinthia, which I love that name, by the way. And she I says, bet it's uh, Cynthia. It might be, but it's got a K, so I'm going to use the K. Uh, ice bullet has been proved to be impractical. The ice shatters as soon as the powder is ignited. I <laughs> love, love, love that she put that comment. Just so you know, it was with an air pump gun on the bullet. Well, <laughs> but it also depends on the amount of pressure being put behind the bullet because if the ice is not dense <laughs> enough, the air pressure will actually fracture. And it That's also why. depends on the director of that episode. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do not get between me and fucking science! Science! <coughs> James says there are real guns made out of wood. Yes. Uh, Tim says you can make a zip gun. We made them as kids all the time. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to put your opinions out there? You don't have to. No, I mean, I agree. I don't think, I mean, I would like everybody to have like a little thing in their wrist where they have to scan, you know, like if you're crazy, you get one. If you're on certain medications, you get one. If you, if you kill somebody, you get one, right? Like if, if you're, if it's under the skin, you know, I mean, it's kind of there's terrifying. A, there's a I don't movie care. about that. Gattaca. I believe, <laughs> yeah, so there's a movie there's about that, right? I believe that criminals can be reformed, but I don't think hmm. we get to forget. We can forgive, but we don't get to forget. If you violently killed yeah. somebody... Sorry, buddy, you don't get the option of purchasing a gun again. I mean, just yeah, I don't care day. if you're reformed or not. But you I think if you, pooch. I think if you have a felony, you you already can't. Like you can't own a gun. You're not like, supposed to, right? If you have a felony. Right. But they don't check into the mental illness on a lot of those scenarios. There's well, they were that. for a while. Didn't uh, our illustrious uh, 45 like repeal the, some law? Mm. Where people who were crazy could not get a gun. He was, yes, it's been it's been repealed. It's been in place. It's been out of place. There were a lot of gun laws that lapsed while President uh, while President Obama was in office. Um, gun laws have waxed and waned. The problem is, is they wax and wane. We don't have a set system, and nobody wants to agree on a set system because um, Republicans and um, I, it hurts me to say this, but my fellow libertarians will also be like, slippery slope. And I'm like, no, fucking, it's not proven to be a slippery slope. Just get the fuck over yourselves. But then the liberals are like, no one should have guns. Well, the super liberals are like, no one should have guns. And I'm like, mm, I don't quite agree with that. It's why I don't live in Australia. Otherwise, I'd be gone. Um, but here's the only There is I'm a medium. There is a happy medium right down the center of the fucking lane. And I just wish people would pull their heads out of their own asses enough to be able to say, okay, maybe I can give up this as long as I can get this. So the only thing I really want to um, contribute, because we've, we've talked about this, you know, quite a bit, and we could really have a, a whole nother we show about three it. three hours and half dozen um, hours. Butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> just to lighten it up a little. Um, but the only thing that I, I ask as you know, as whatever party you are, if you could just, parents, if you could just lock your guns up because mm -hmm. your kids are all bringing them to school and, you know, out of fairness, like my daughter's right to live kind of supersede your right to have 20 guns around your house. That's all I ask. Just lock them up. That's it. So. Yeah. Uh, be a responsible fucking gun owner. Gun owner. Don't be a dick. I mean, it's, it's happened uh, today. Another one. Somebody else brought it. Last week, it was, um, I was in the middle of Spring Mountain and a rainbow. And I'm like thinking, what's going on? What's going on? All these cop cars around this bus. Woo, woo, woo. And then all of a sudden, it's like shopping centers. Everything's blocked off. Well, somebody shot somebody, somebody stabbed somebody, and somebody's on the run. And it's like, yeah. that was just like two days ago here in yeah. our own city on a bus. It's, it's yeah. so stupid. But listen, y'all, let's go back to the way the Irish used to settle shit with bare knuckle boxing. And some beer? And some beer. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get drunk and punch the fuck out of each other and then go get drunk together. 
Um, there's uh, some really good comments in the yeah. in the comments, but um, let's get off this. This is a very deep subject. It could go on for hours, and we have three beautiful ladies we need to introduce to the Sin City Bounty audience. So, so here we have. <laughs> introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Karen. But you have to say it deep and sexy. Like, that's how you introduce yourself on the show. Oh, I'm Karen. There you go. All right, all right. I never really hard. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it all sexy. Just work it. First. You see, she has oh. to touch the phallic. I, <laughs> I, have to get into I don't it. know how to do it all sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Abby. And I'm Julie. I might have called you like on a 900 number. I know, I know. You know what? I've gotten that since I, I was like that. 21. They're like, <laughs> you have an amazing voice. And I go, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, would it be awkward if I called you and asked you to like talk me through a masturbation session? I mean, just, you know what? Just, you know, <laughs> just ask. I could take one to just the team. I could take one to So wait, you're not going to call me anymore? <laughs> I just did you. <laughs> you have been repeated. <laughs> See, Did it's like it? a fucking running theme the last four shows. They're just finding little ways to replace me. Well, well I haven't been here the last four shows. So these ladies are with Crave Las Vegas, right? Crave yeah, LV. Yes. yes. Uh, on social media, it's Crave LV on, I just found your Twitter, where it's Crave underscore LV. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, just type in Crave Las Vegas and look for the picture of the beautiful little girl with the A on her dress. Is that a Tony Tails logo? No, it's just a computer-generated, you know, bigger, curvier lady. So, yeah. So let me just kind of throw out there, um, and before you guys get into it, but one thing that Vegas has had for for many years um, is they had a club where I've met the two of you at for many years. You know, we've seen each other at this particular club, and it was, to me, it was very casual. It was something where you could come in and you could be super dressed up. You could come in a little bit more casual. But it was like always going and seeing your friends again. It was like a class reunion, only you liked school. <laughs> like you liked the people that you went with. Um, so it was always fun. And that's something that, to be honest, has been missing for a while. Now, we do have Plush. And Plush is not by any means gone. Um, we'll still continue to have uh, Plush events here in the market. But they're not regular, on a regular consistent. basis. So there's been a void. We do have another club. Um, in town that um, that does the parties as well, but every every club tends to have a little bit of a different vibe. So tell us what you guys have going on. Well, I can talk. So um, I've been in the BBW community for a very long time. You know, when I was probably ten, and um, <laughs> I've been chubby a long I, time. I know. <laughs> yeah. right. um, you know, but I think that it's just where I've met some of my bestest girlfriends, really. Um, and a lot of us grew up having cattiness, right? And so we wanted something for Las Vegas. Las Vegas was missing it for a while. You know, unfortunately, some people had some health issues, even in the bash community. Bashes came, bashes went, more bashes come. So we were talking. Um, Karen had the idea. I kind of ran off with that. And then I'm like, okay, well, we kind of died that down. And then I brought Abby in because she's our social media guru. She's the youngest person on our team. And I'm like, why not have three ladies that are not in drama? They're not about, you know, being greedy and making money. We just want to provide something for the community. But we didn't want to call it a BBW event. We want to call it size acceptance because we think that sometimes, not all times, BBW, sim it seems to be exclusive, not inclusive. Right. Because me being a smaller BBW, I've heard, you're not a BBW. Why are you here? Why are you here? Oh, yeah. And it's just, it's so with, wrong. With that tone, too. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> that tone and that wrinkled up nose. Why are you even here? Well, you're the skinny bitch at this thing. But, you know, we all have skinny friends. That we all have big friends. <laughs> you know, we want to be all inclusive about, you know, race, size. It doesn't really matter. You know, the LGBT, it doesn't matter who you are. But at the same time, we want to bring class. We want to bring a little bit of, you know, um, what you wear. We don't want sweats and, and shorts. We want to be a little bit like, you know, take take time and pride in who you are and know your worth and just be a little bit more classier. Um, it is on the strip. We've never had anything on the strip. So it's just kind of trying to bring something else new to Vegas. You guys want to talk? Yeah, I think for me, um, I just joined the community in February. So um, I'm still fairly new to the plus size community. I mean, I've been big my whole life, but um, 
my actually through Plush. So Katie, I worked with Katie and she introduced me to Bash. And um, so I've had a really great experience over the last couple months and I would love to be able to bring my friends to those events, but some of them aren't, um, you know, they're not as big and I don't think, and I've talked to them and they're just like, oh, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Well, we want you to come. We want you to have your friends, no matter what size, and feel comfortable in that environment. Um, you know, dance, have a good time, and kind of have the experiences that we've all had. And, you know, for me, it's been instrumental in my last six months. Um, I mean, it's really been amazing for me, so I want that same experience for my friends. I, I love that idea that it's a size acceptance club rather than a BBW club. Yeah. Because I think one of the ways, one of the things that people tend to forget is the one way to get over discrimination is to not discriminate. Uh, so you big girls who are like, oh, skinny girls shouldn't come here. Why? Why should they not come here? Granted, they're probably not going to get hit on as much as you are, but does that mean that they get to be excluded from the fun and frivolity and making mm -hmm. new friends and drinking amazing drinks and Some dancing? Of my best friends are skinny people. Mm -hmm. so, I'm trying to think if I have any skinny friends. <laughs> 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 we tend to, we tend to like, we're like birds of a, we're like fats of a feather. We just kind of float together. Well, yeah. I have skinny friends, but they have to like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The good thing is, is we like actually have food. late night food menu. Oh, yeah. So you can drink. Yeah. You have drink specials. We have the lemon Great crave. Drink specials. The lemon mm. crave will be our drink of the day. And we have food. So, I mean, and everything there is, I mean, I think there's maybe nine chairs that have arms. Mm -hmm. Everything else doesn't. So it's just kind of, yes. yeah, no. So let's talk about the venue for a little bit. So yeah. this is being held at the Thunderbird The Club. Thunderbird Lounge, yeah. Thunderbird Lounge. Yep, and they've just been really, really great, receptive. Um, they haven't told us no to anything yet. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a VIP. Yep. We have six booths that we can actually rent. And um, I was able to negotiate some really great prices mm -hmm. and really come up with some good menus with the girls, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and offer something that we don't normally have. We can't go to the Red Label and get booth service. We just can't, right? Yeah. That's just, well, it's not even the Red Label anymore. So it was just, it's being able to bring a little bit of regular Vegas, because I don't know if any of you felt this way, but if we go to a normal club like Tao, if we're not with a really skinny hot dude or a bunch of girls that are paying a lot of money to get in, they're going to be like, no, you're just too big. You know, and I've heard it from VIP hosts. I've, I've oh, been yeah. refused from clubs yeah. before, yeah. back so, when I was clubbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we just think that, you know, once a month, we're trying to do this once a month. Yeah. And really just um, give somebody a place to just let their hair down, have fun, you know. So this first premiere event is October 6th, yes. um, and it's going to be, do you know the address off the top of your head? 1216, right? 1215. 1215. What's the name of the place? Thunderbird, Thunderbird Lounge. Lounge. Thunderbird Lounge. We just drive oh, there. Near? One, it's between, um, it's just past the stratosphere between um, a lot of wedding chapels next to the Super 8. Okay. Yeah. I know where that's at. Yeah, Not to be confused with Thunderbird Restaurant, Not which is an amazing Super restaurant, by the way. Not at the Super 8, though. <laughs> just to clarify. Yes. But you can yes. stay at the Super 8. Absolutely, yeah. But yes, like, absolutely. You can. But we do have a block of rooms that we secured over at the Grand, um, okay. which is really nice. So and they have the you know rooftop pool and everything, too. Nice. So if you want to come for the weekend, you know, party with us. And where, besides your Facebook page, uh, do you have like a website or something where people can go to? Yes. www.cravelb.com. All right. You can buy your tickets on there too. In fact, we actually just um, started a promo today until September 15th. If you buy your tickets before September 15th, you get entered into a raffle for four free drinks. Plus, it's only $10 if yes. you buy it Correct. now. Exactly. Save five bucks. And on if the door. you pay at the door, it has to be cash and it's $15 yes. at the door. Exactly. So it's better if you buy them online now before you get there. Do you have a limit of how many people can be in? 180. That 180. is our capacity. And I am telling you the our face group group in three days was over 800 and it says people are already flying in they're making reservations our room block is already half what, full let me just ask a question what if there's somebody who is notoriously late to everything will they still be able to get into the club as long as you pay for your ticket in advance yes. or bring yeah. cash with you at the yeah. door I would just I know but if it hits capacity but I would get the ticket in advance because we can't sell getting it. ready then you just have to stand outside they're only going to sell 180 tickets, woman. That's it, yeah. So you just prepay. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> I've got a couple of friends I that are. I have a time for support. everything. And I'll tell you a story about the last time we went out. Okay. We, uh, we, uh, sh I asked her what time are we going to when we go out. She said, I will be at your house at 10. And at 1045, she told me she's putting her makeup on. And at 1130, she showed up. And we didn't come home until like six o'clock the next morning, <laughs> mostly passed out in the back of a lift. Hey, <laughs> sun was out. 
Dude, we opened that door and we're like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> So See, now a rule for friends like that. I do have some friends like that, and I always tell them the time that I actually want to go out. I usually say an hour earlier, and then they're usually ready. So people, I don't tell them, but I do that to these yeah. <laughs> So people do normally tell me the wrong time. Actually, my yeah. own child tells me the wrong time, too. She's like, I have to be there by 7, and really it's like 7.30. So. Or you can get a VIP booth. You oh, yeah. buy the VIP booth, it doesn't matter what time you show up. And your yeah. VIP booths aren't that expensive. No. 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 Well, that's one thing, you know, like Julie mentioned, we're not trying to, we want it to be a good environment. The drink specials, they're they're great. The food is affordable. I mean, it's something we want you to be able to afford to come, and the bottle service is not your typical Vegas bottle service. Yeah, it's, you hear you hear the you hear the phrase bottle service, the yeah. first thing you think of is 200 bucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. But yours is only? 75 to 125 dollars that's it the Ciroc is 125 you know yeah, um, nobody likes Ciroc anymore. hey you know <laughs> um, but all the mixers are free yeah. mm-hmm. and, and it just has the standard gratuity you know we have a drink special the drink of the day is going to be four dollars we're going to have five dollar you call it so you know where the, the DJ just says hey for the next 10 minutes go get it any shot you can go get your Henny hello mm-hmm. Henny five dollars <laughs> yes so, so and our DJ we're flying our DJ in from Florida Yes, so you know, yeah, so. DJ Delight. Yep, he's pretty well known in the plus size community. Um, he's not a gamer, is he? No, <laughs> I don't even think he plays video games. He coaches football. Don't be bagging on my people. So, <laughs> really, if you're flying someone in from Florida who coaches football, can you bring my brother too? Like, <laughs> is he cute? Florida? Yeah, he's adorable. Oh, <laughs> we should uh, see some pictures. So. Uh, Alex from <laughs> chat says, I'm looking forward to going. We'll be moving to Vegas in early October. Yay. William says, y'all making me wish I was back in Vegas, I can go to this event. Uh, David says, "Hey, ladies, the best of luck with your new venture. I hope it goes well and successful." From the Davester. Oh, and Dave all. from New York. And someone else just to share, they made a comment kind of about. I wasn't um, going to mention other it. Club. And the only reason I am is I've been there. It's actually uh, I even commented. It's a phenomenal club there. It's okay to have more than one club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay to have different venues, different clubs, and different atmospheres. it's okay atmospheres. to have different styles. Just because you didn't like the v- vibe of that club doesn't mean a lot of other people uh, didn't like the vibe. I like the vibe. Right. Plush and Red right. Label coexisted for Absolutely. a really long time. For and they long were time. friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Absolutely. Helping each other out all the time. So. Well, we need to stop you. hating on each other. Yeah. Stop it. Well, well I mean, we support. We support. You know, yeah, like, we're not going to put our event on a bash weekend. We're not going to, you know, so if we I know of things that are out there now, if it's not posted or we're not aware, mm-hmm. then there's not. But once a month, yeah. you know, we just try not to step on people's toes exactly. because we want everybody to have a party to go to. And it works. The other one is on a Friday. You guys are on a Saturday and not even the same, mm-hmm. you know, weekend. So, so there's plenty kind of out there, plenty of places to go. Mm-hmm. You go, you find where you, you know, find your own vibe. Um, I gotta ask. You said no shorts, no sweats. Could I bring a good-looking dude in a kilt? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, are there Very no classy. Jeans? Crazy. Can, no, you can, can do jeans. Can we no, make a special really. request yeah. that all the good-looking men come in kilts? <laughs> Which basically Just with nothing underneath, right? That yeah, it has to be full kilt. Yeah, otherwise, it's a, otherwise it's a skirt. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. 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 If you totally. wearing underwear, I'm okay with a guy in a skirt. That's okay if he's wearing lipstick on there, right? I'm like, I'm more turned on right now. Like, keep going. <laughs> keep describing what you're describing. Because if you know this guy, if you could bring him. Somewhere in the back of my sober mind is a drunk song I know about a blue ribbon on a, underneath a... I don't know you win my boy, but I see you've won first prize. Like, I have a... <laughs> <laughs> I have a ditty in the back of my head somewhere that I know only when I'm drunk and can only sing in an Irish accent. We all have those songs that we only sing when we're drunk and can sing in an Irish accent. I've heard yours. <laughs> it's the pull over now, me friend. Pull over now, the glory bird. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm like, in the back like this. I I'm, like, I'm like, no, I'm not going to puke. She's like, I'm fine. I'm, I'm perfectly good. I'm like, y'all need to pull the fuck over because I can't not bark if she does. We're on the freeway. You should have seen this boy pull across three lanes of traffic at 75. I'm getting off now. I'm like, dude. Just, and I just down. remember swearing I didn't have to throw up. I just kept going, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. Keep going. Okay, I need a hashtag for this conversation. And the next uh, thing you know. Hashtag I'm not going to barf. <laughs> So it's funny because the only accent I know mm-hmm. is Abu. Welcome to 7-Eleven. How can I help you? Would you like a Slurpee? <laughs> so is that like your... <laughs> That's totally for you, yeah. You know. 
<laughs> she loves it when I do those kinds of voices. Do no, I? she does not. <laughs> I don't know yeah. I do. I'm, I'm only allowed to do. <laughs> I'm only allowed to do the white accents anymore. <laughs> Like Zoya the Destroyer. <laughs> I don't she get comes that. on. Because okay. right. she's Russian and white as fuck. That's why. <laughs> Jesus. As soon as I get my French one down. I mean, okay, that is where you'll get me. <laughs> like that right there. You like the French accent? Oh, yeah. Like, that's my. Like Inspector top. Clouseau and the Pink Panther? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's Or totally. Pepe Le Pew? Yeah, no, Pepe Le Pew. Like, talk about. Cartoon masturbation. Like, <laughs> Here's all I need: Peppy Le Pew on one. Like on the TV, I'm gonna call you up. Peppy <laughs> on the headset, Peppy Le Pew right there. Oh my god! I'm gonna come to your house, which is why I'm storing my vibrators right now. Currently, vibrator so, storage in my house. Vibrator storage. I had to. I had to. Um, I'm in the middle of a move, and it, I'm in a temporary living situation. Where apparently she can't have her bag of vibrators. She she was like, Can her you store bag my- of vibrators. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get like two vibrators in a grocery bag. I got. She got. Can you take that? I, I was like. For her. <laughs> it's a big ass. It's one of those like I took it to the beach with my blanket in it purses. <laughs> so and I was like, it's full. And then she found another one just floating free. I was like, put that in the bag. I'm like, what the fuck? one in my office. And people were coming in to move out my desk. We're and I'm to going, stick, stick it in the bag. Stick my vibrator in the bag here. The bag was already full. It's in my closet right now. <laughs> I was just, like, I had, I had three, I had some people staying with me because they were also in a temporary, like, pass-through environment. And occasionally, to get some peace and quiet, because if you've never been to my house, it's a fucking zoo, they would go upstairs into my room to watch TV, and I'm totally okay with that. And I was like, I think that bag's out where anyone can see it. But then I made a comment and realized, my dildo's just sitting on the nightstand. Uh, forget my bag of goodies. Oh my God. <laughs> like you're hanging necklaces off of it. It's just no, there no, like no, it's no, nothing. No, 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 no. I have things for the necklaces. You so don't pay let me put my pussy off the vibrator. Let, let me ask you a question. I have currently four different vibrators. Three of them are broken, but I still right. have them all. So is your bag of dildos the same way? No. No. <laughs> They're all fully functioning. I totally, I totally want to know. Batteries How just been replaced. Them? No, I haven't named okay. them. Okay. I'm just curious. Like, you know? I guess if I name them, they're all called Oh Fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> but no. Mine's like, ooh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, um, I, I did it when she came. I had to, like, ask her, and I, I really thought, how am I going to build up to asking her to store my... <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I think I texted you, and I'm thinking, I'm like, I have a huge favor. <laughs> I was like, sure, what is it? She's like, can you store my vibrators for me? And I'm like, I guess, yeah. I don't have to wash them, do I? Already <laughs> 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 washed. <laughs> clean. Already clean. Just so you know, uh, most vibrators hot in here. are <laughs> safe in your uh, dishwasher. You can just throw them in the top oh, yeah. rack of your dishwasher and sanitize them. As long yeah. as they don't have batteries. It's just yeah, take the batteries out first. Or if they're Let's... waterproof. Yeah. If you have batteries and you have the rechargeable, what do you say when as I do on quite a few. <laughs> well, you do that mine anyway. hasn't found mine yet, so that's good. Yeah. I'm sure mine has. He comes into my room all the time. It's not like I hide the damn thing. I'm mean, going to use it <laughs> I for get to the wall. <laughs> No, it's on a shelf on the bottom of my thing. <laughs> you know, if you bend down to plug something in, it's like, hello. And it's like, hi. I mean, it's not like he's just dancing around in the middle of the floor or anything. I mean, he is tucked away, but. That would be the cutest little dildo, one that just danced around while I was waiting for you to use it. To, to make myself sound extra pervy, I actually spent the night at her place recently. And I thought to I was in her room, and I thought to myself, I wonder if I can ask her if she'll leave the room and I could use my bag. <laughs> She's asleep in my bed. <laughs> and I'm laying there going, Give I me like 10 you? minutes. I'm going to call Julie, right? <laughs> <laughs> she knows like, I wouldn't have had to leave like, the room. Here's the thing. I really only need two and a half minutes when it's, when it's my own. I'm down to business. I don't need to like. Can we talk about that? Do you guys have the same thing? Like mm-hmm. most of the women I know, when they masturbate, they're done in two minutes. With a dude, it's like an hour and a half in, and they're like, "Have you found it yet?" <laughs> are we Are we all on that same page? Is that just us? I think we've mastered it. No, I mean, I'm I'm a bullet person. I really am. Hey, yeah, sisters. Yeah. So, but I've 
went through quite a few because the cord starts, you know, sparking and I, you have to right. you know, I picked one up one time it. and it just <laughs> fell apart. I was like, damn it. I hate, it when, I hate it when you start, though, and the batteries are like, just dying. You're like, fuck. And I'm like, do I have AAA? I don't know if I have AAA. I'm all... Where's the nearest remote control that I can pop out the batteries? Oh my Just God, so I have totally stolen the batteries out of my remote. And then I forgot, and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, that's right, the yes. pus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so well, so I have dudes, pus if you, you are, are, you are ever missing, if your remote <laughs> control for the TV batteries. doesn't work, it's because They're your girl batteries. has stolen the yeah. batteries. But I've been, Please I've don't been, take them out of this small door. My most recent ones are rechargeables. If your battery, you plug it in and charge, and yeah, sometimes it'll die during. Yeah. You're not, if your dildo requires a nine volt battery, <laughs> you just go with know. the gas operated kickstart version. <laughs> you never way know, cheaper. right? Oh, I hope goodness. you don't have your mom watching or anything. I don't think so, but she's a pervert, so <laughs> okay. she'd be joining in on this conversation. My so. mother watches this show. Yes, and she does. Tunes in. Is she tuned in now <laughs> by chance? No, thank God. Because one but my day, celebrity crush was watching for a little while. One day, uh, one day I have a question to ask your mom. <laughs> if you ask about my dad's hands any more, I thought she answered us. <laughs> she, but <laughs> it wasn't a complete answer. She, no. she answered us that she did not know because he never did that for her when he was missing. La 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 la. So, uh, throwback, throwback to a former question. You keep humming. Uh, Sierra's mom uh, was married to a man who was missing some fingers, and we wanted to know. I felt that. I wanted to know if the nubs helped him hit the G-spot better. Like, if he's in there and nubbing <laughs> up against it, was it better for fingering purposes? Yes, and if you... And for some reason, she gets weird when we ask her mom. <laughs> like, and if you're tuning into uh, our live Facebook and you're watching this live, on occasion, Sierra Madre will join us in chat and answer our questions for us. So. Well, I love it. Or she'll join us after and say yeah. hi when the show's over. <laughs> no, no, no. The best is when she ropes my stepdad into watching with her, and he sends me a text going, no, it's me with the foot fetish. Thanks, I knew that. <laughs> didn't want to, but I already did know that. <laughs> I, I know, I'm sexual. a 10. He was just telling me that I'm a 10. I get it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the perverts I'm fucking related to. And you all people wonder why I am the way I am. <laughs> my mom is under strict orders not to watch but it doesn't matter because she's a hippie pothead and she's pretty much high right now so. and my mom doesn't just doesn't care <laughs> no your mom encourages your uh less than teenage niece and nephew to listen so that she can talk to them about sex while we're live on the air it's like no thank you we had her mom on one time and she told her niece and nephew to call in so that she could talk to them about sex <laughs> If well, they ever had a question, just ask grandma. It <laughs> <laughs> is. That's like a normal dinner at my parents' house. So <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing to my kid, too. I'm making sex so uncool, he's never going to have it. I'd be like, so let's talk about consent again. Yes. <laughs> he hates it. I'm like, come on, time to watch a video. Ugh. I always tell my daughter, I'm like, you're so lucky you have a mom that will tell you anything. And she's like, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> will tell me anything. And I'm like, I mean, what do you want to know? What do you want to talk about? The very first time I signed her up for, um, oh gosh, what shit? I can't think of what it is. It's not Cosmo. Was it teen? Oh, 17? 17? I think it's 17. Um, because they were having some really great articles. That you, I know it is 17. And they were just so important, you know, to a teenager. And things that don't really, you know, that I might not have thought of to kind of initiate. So I sign her up for it. And I'm like, all right, we're going to subscribe. And here's the website. And I pull the website up. And she's there. And the very first headline is anal sex. And I'm like, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, look later and ask me questions. It's like that, that's the equivalent of the 1950s parent going, here's a book about your body's changing. Let's never talk about this again. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, did you wash your dick? You better scrub those pubes because no girl wants to sniff that. And he's just oh like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he's never having sex. <laughs> Mine's 11, and he always turns to me, have I started puberty yet? No, you haven't. You have not grown any hair whatsoever. And we just leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always told him, you can't act like a man until you have hair on your balls. And he's like, it's just around my dick. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my kid. I remember when 
my daughter was little, maybe four, and she came to me and she's like, you know, where do babies come from? And I just, I guess I had always prepared myself and, and all of that, and I panicked, and I'm like, let me get back to you. <laughs> and so I went, and I literally went out, like I did all this research, I went and bought this book at Barnes & Noble that I read through, and I'm like, God, there's shit in here I didn't even know, and <laughs> maybe I'm not going to show my daughter this cartoon drawing of an old man and old lady, like, fucking. Um, so then, you know, I sat down with her, and I got started, and I'm like, well, you know, when um, two people... Um, you know, get together, and, and I started explaining just a little, and she's like, oh, that's all I needed to know. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, I have like five pages of research here. <laughs> I've got draft like, charts. Hey, you know, oh, yes, I have a PowerPoint presentation, kid. Like, you're sitting for this. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty funny. So do you guys want to talk about your night out at the studios? We just did. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She said 10, she showed up at about 11.30, we partied and didn't come home until after 6 o'clock in the morning, and then we, uh, she fell asleep actually downstairs for a little while, and I know that because people staying in my house were like, yes, <laughs> some person fell asleep on the couch for no, a little while. I wasn't on the couch, I okay. was in your bathroom. Okay, it scared me a little bit because no. I thought you were talking about how she fell no. asleep at the studios for no. a little while no. downstairs. No, no, I fell asleep in your bathroom. Do you remember me coming oh, upstairs? Oh, I thought you were on the couch. No. I came out, I remember I, I was in the bathroom, and she has a, you have a tiny bathroom downstairs, and it's cozy, so I just remember sitting there, and the next thing I remember, I wake up, and I'm like, I'm still in the bathroom, <laughs> and I come upstairs, and I, and like, your friends were like, out there, like, did, I, maybe they thought I died in there, I don't know, but I even came upstairs, and you're like, sleeping, and I'm like, I fell asleep in the bathroom! <laughs> Did I stir at all? Probably not. You probably I remember you time. showed up at some point, but I have no time frame because I was just as fucked up as she was. Just not, you know. Yes, I was already passed the fuck out, and suddenly she's like, "I was downstairs," and I'm like, "I I know that." With the bed. <laughs> and then the next morning, I get up, and the people staying with me are like, "Um, there was a person asleep in the living room," and I was like. Yeah, that was Kelly. She's fine. They're like, oh, okay. I'm like, you people are sleeping in my living room. Be fine with it. You're fine. I'm like, do you not know I just let people sleep here? <laughs> this is Sierra's home from my room souls. Everybody gets to pass out on my couch. Like, they're lucky I didn't come out and say, listen, you're on my drunk couch if you can move. <laughs> True. My, my roommate and my kid are pretty, like, it's pretty normal for them to wake up and she's asleep downstairs. Seriously. To the point where, like, baby daddy is like, go, go get her a drink. And then your son goes and he brings me some water and he's like, here you go. I think this is a great opportunity to let everybody know that if you plan on attending the Crave Party uh, at the Thunderbird Lounge on October 6th, uh, make sure you save some money for your Lyft or Uber ride. <laughs> please, please drink and drive responsibly. Since they have uh, great drink specials and food specials. And, and if you guys need like a, a Lyft driver, we have one. We have a couple so. of Lyft drivers. We have a few, yeah. Who are plus size friendly and are super nice. Right. And they have codes. In fact, we should probably hook uh, these yeah. ladies up with a couple. No, that'd be great. Yeah, we can yes. promote them, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're I all know about at least being one their vehicle is very like plus size friendly. Mm -hmm. So I'm we sure have a lot of them are. Very drunk in the back of that vehicle before too. So <laughs> there true. are very few friends of ours who have not seen the two of us <laughs> shit faced in the back seat of their vehicle. Very few of them. <laughs> There's even a couple we only went out with a couple of times that have seen us shit faced in the back of their vehicle. Yeah, that happens sometimes when Abby takes me out. She takes <laughs> she takes videos and then she shows them to me and I go, I didn't I didn't remember taking a video. And um yeah. I get pretty intoxicated. Yeah. I just think it's because I don't so, drink water. We have a yeah. no videos rule. We can take <laughs> yeah. pictures, but no videos. Yeah. Oh, no. But I always yeah, find videos. videos. Oh, yeah. she does. <laughs> I always find videos on my phone. But they're usually of me talking to myself. <laughs> so I have we, some of those, too. <laughs> yeah. We want to thank you ladies so much for coming down. Anytime you want to come down and promote anything that you guys are doing, please let us know. We'd be more than happy to have you. Or if you just want to come hang out and talk dildos. Hey, and that's or butt sex. Because yeah. yeah. right, right. uh, we can really get to that tonight. <laughs> oh, no, there's, an after, there's an after the rose ceremony. Right. So, uh, these are the ladies from Crave. You go to their
their website, CraveLV.com. Find them on all the social medias. Just type in CraveLV or at the bottom of the CraveLV website, you can see all the links to their social media. And uh, will you guys have other events or just for rain? Okay. Yes. October 6th at the Thunderbird uh, Lounge uh, on the Strip, on the start of the Strip in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, we're probably, we will probably be going if uh, Toxie will pay for the tickets up front. <laughs> Lift leaves my house at 10 p.m. Uh, William, thank you again for being a Patreon subscriber. Um, don't forget, you could be a you could be uh, you could help us out. Let us get paid so we can buy tacos and uh, do all that kind of. If you're watching the YouTube video, the one with all the fancy background shit, not the big green thing in the back, uh, please make sure you sub hit subscribe and click on the little bell icon so you get notifications. That way, every time we post a new video, which should happen approximately once a week, you know so that you can watch us with the pretty background. Yes, uh, I'm Alexia. I'm Karen. Abby. I'm Julie. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're calling me later. <laughs> Toxie. <laughs> and Sierra. And we will see you guys next week. If you're brave enough. <laughs> Lay the bitches! <laughs> <laughs>